It is Banza's birthday, and to celebrate, we're going to be taking jet-powered kayaks to the duck farm. We're on. We're on. We're on. Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back. Man's excited. Shoo. We are at Walmart. We're sneaking in the back door here. But we've got the jet powered kayaks today. We are going to be taking them out and doing a little bit of dangling. You guys have been loving the jet kayak videos. They are the funnest things on the planet. And we're going to be taking them to the duck farm today to hopefully catch some kitty cats. Meow. And we are going, we also brought a shotgun with some clays. This was Jake's idea. We're going to do some practicing. We'll and, ready for teal season. and it's not actually a joke, Banjo. What, what's today? It's my birthday. It's actually Banjo's Is birthday. It yeah. It's actually, I, I, I say happy birthday to Banjo. It's actually Banjo's birthday. So you got to wish Banjo a happy birthday. He's 27. Is that? No, 30, no, no, no. 32, 47? No. How old are you? 24. 24. What what year is that for? Don't people do the game? It's Jeff Gordon year. Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon oh, he, year. He's a huge yeah. Jeff Gordon. Oh. Yeah, year. 24. This guy. I knew he was going <laughs> to say it. Well, it is Banjo's birthday, and to celebrate, we're going to be taking jet-powered kayaks to the duck farm, practice some shooting pews. We got some clays. We got some shooting. Why would I say it like that? We got shotgun shells, and we're going to run to Walmart and get some bait, hopefully, for some catfish, because you guys know this place is full of bullheads, and there's also the flying Asian carp, which this motor should be plenty allowed to get those fired up, oh Banjo. Oh, God, you're going to get smoked. Smoke. I'm going to get smoked right in the face. I'm gonna, Banjo's going to take it to the face today by an Asian wow. carp, so oh, wow. we're going to go inside, hopefully get hit with an Asian carp. Well, not in Walmart at the lake <laughs> but that would be odd if that happened here flying asian car potentially some catfish potentially and shooting pews what more could you want on a beautiful sunny day you guys stay tuned oh yeah baby the old clip oh hey. oh yeah what? this one's the move is that it yeah i have one of these oh yeah we're like, using this at your cabin it's so really? good left-hander would be like this and it, it does yeah. it for you Flips when it, it hits yeah, this is smart. Well, there you go. They we got, got some, got some shell. Ones. Yeah, I mean, they got the full blown. Yeah, this, this one worked. They got the full blown already. doohickey here. So we got clay Some thrower. Hands. We already have some clays. <laughs> how, how many clays did we, do we have? We have one here. I just brought like yeah, I just brought like a half case. We probably have like thirty. We might as well let it rip. Yeah. How, what right. about, and we got so we have plenty of shells. Yeah. We got plenty of clays. We got a clay thrower. Oh, crawlers are right here. I was just thinking, I'm like, man, what else? Yeah. What are we coming here for? So yeah, we have some big daddy crawlers. Yeah. Big the, the Canadians. What do those guys have to say? You want to open that guy? Canadians fired up or what? They're alive. Oh god, yeah. Oh yeah. Loser has to eat one or what? Yeah. Hooks. We got every. We got all that good stuff. We got. Unless you want like small. I'm trying to think. Small. Hey, what's how, how big a hooks? A little hook case with all those different, all different sizes, sizes of octopus. Of, of like the little octopus ones. Yeah. I say I'm, I'm. I think we might need to put on or bring at least bring a couple small little bait hooks just in case we're going yeah. after them them bowl heads. These ones? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that should work. I was just saying, ours are probably a little bit. Okay, do we have split shots? We got all that. Really get the old wheel going. Oh, you need the ones that you can open back. Oh, yeah, these guys. Yeah, yeah, oh, those are the ones you're after right there. Okay. Oh, what about this? What about some catfish bait? Should we get chum and get them, or what are we getting fired up, you think? We'll rip down the lake in the kayak, just dump a chum. Dump it the yeah, we could do it and then run the kayaks and spread yeah. them. Oh, we should definitely do that. Yeah, let's get the old chum. We're going to get them fired up. What we should do is just. We should just go in a circle and make like a chum circle, and then we just sit and then cast into the chum circle. Yeah, Are we eating these suckers? Do we need a stringer? Catch any keggers, or what do you think? Yeah, it's your birth. It's your He's birthday. I'm always, I'm always down. I think we gotta find some cupcakes for Manjo. Cup oh really? really? What about a kitty cat cake? Sure. Oh, we should catch the catfish and make crab or catfish crab cakes, and then put a freaking candle in it for Banjo. Really? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. So we might need a stringer. Stringer, Daddy. Oh yeah. Or should we get the clip? The old classic. The old clip. Yeah, the old chain stringer. All right. Well. I think we're good to go. Hot dogs? You think that's worth it, or do you we think brought, crawlers? No, we we think bring we some hot dogs. We brought some old moldy ones. You want some freshies? Yeah. Do they like the moldy ones, or maybe it smells? It smells worse. I'll tell you that. Should it's... we get freshies just in case? Sure. Okay. Well, we'll go get some. We'll go get some hot dogs. That's pretty much it, though. I mean, there's not really. I mean, maybe if they have some chicken liver or some sort. Oh, um, that would do it. Chicken liver would probably actually work pretty good. So, well, we'll see you guys over the meat section. Oh yeah, baby. Classic Franklin for a dollar eighteen. Inflation who? I don't know what you're talking about. Dollar eighteen for twelve freaking weenies. We're eating good now. Oh yeah, right here, banjo. That's oh, yeah. it. Chicken livers. Yep. That'll get him fired up. So between, oh, there's one coming out already. Right. He's, he's he's ready. So between the hot dogs, the chicken livers, and the night crawlers, I think it should be enough to hopefully dangle up some kitty cats. So we'll see you guys at the duck farm. Shoo! All right, we made.
right, we are at the duck farm and the lake is low. If you guys have not subscribed to the Beefcake Construction channel, you probably should because we spent, uh, what's going on? Yeah, all that millet. Wow, look at all that. We drained this lake and um, we filmed it all. It took us like two weeks. Not drained it dry, but we drained it. And then we planted millet around the edges. And all that super, super green lush stuff that's right next to that mud, that's all millet that we planted. And we planted pretty much the whole thing. Like the rim around the entire, I mean, we didn't plant over there though. And that's green coming yeah, up no, over there. Yeah, that's just more soil so that's just, that's barnyard grass. That's just natural. See, that's in, oh, look at this boat. That's, that boat's doing a whole lot. She ain't moving. So that thing's been stuck here. But yeah, it's good. Honestly, it's good. We drained it down. There's natural barnyard grass, which is, you know, natural duck food. And then we planted a bunch of millet. We also planted a bunch of millet back there and we didn't film anything on there, but that's for dove hunting. If we have time today, we'll check it out. If not, you guys will see it in a dove video at some point. But we planted, you know, three, four acres of uh, like a millet grass blend, something that'll have some seeds on it. We can go in there and mow strips and then do some dove hunting. We were trying very, very hard this year on dove hunting. We got sunflower fields at the ranch. We got like five acres of sunflowers and then we have a bunch of millet here and there's doves everywhere around on this property. So it should be, it should end up doing pretty opening well. Opening day, how many doves? Opening day, 50 is my goal. That's a lot. That's, that's lame, 75. What? Really? Yeah. We shot 45 last yeah, year. Then so we need a beat in the last year. Yeah, that was public land. That so was public this land. This is yeah. our land. We got to get more than True. If we do an all day deal, if we do morning and evening. Yeah. So if we hunt maybe at the ranch in the morning and then come here for an evening shoot, if we have enough shoot, I bet we can get 50. Hopefully to get that ranch cabin done so we can stay Yeah, that would, be, that would be ideal. We're also doing that. So like I said, if you guys haven't, if you guys like my videos in general, which is why you're here, I would imagine, the Beefcake Construction channel, it'll be linked down in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But we're doing a bunch of stuff there. We did an entire cabin renovation. We're still working on it to this date and trying to get all that done. Huh? We got a problem. What? What happened? We lost our handle on the old crank. Wait, what? So I don't know. Huh? That'll be interesting. The, the handle's just though. gone? How's that go? Yeah, you I mean. You put a little slack in her. Yeah, you'll be all right. Back. Winching her back up will be tough. Yeah, a pair of pliers maybe. Wow, I, I've never done that. How did we, uh, how, I've never seen that before. We lost a handle. All right, well, somebody on the highway, that's my handle if you find it. But anyway, so Beefcake Construction, like I said, has a bunch of stuff. That's just where we post a lot of like the, the stuff that just has to be done. It may not be the most exciting stuff ever. Kind of just day in the life and maintenance and stuff like that and, and different little side projects. And that's where all that is. So like I said, if you guys want to go check it out, you can. And on this channel, we try to post like the really epic cool stuff that you guys always want to see. So like I said, if you want to see a little bit of everything beefcake construction channel has it and the mill that you'll see today that we'll talk about and the, the fact that the lake is drained all happened over there so if you guys are like Leo, what happened to your lake why is it so low we pumped it out we did it ourselves with two giant floating pumps and it took like two weeks but we got her done and it's looking good because we got some nice grass coming up and then once all the grass starts to sprout and gets at a certain height we will turn the well back on and start pumping it back up so that way it's flooded millet in the ducks are gonna be freaking excited about it. I'm excited about the, it. the ducks will be aroused, yeah, won't they? Me too. So we are gonna launch these yaks. We've got two of them, uh, one for Banjo, one for myself, and then we're gonna see if we can get Jake in. I don't know if we're gonna get Jake in there. That's that's gonna be a predicament. Uh, but ideally, Jake was gonna kind of follow us around. Banjo and I are gonna go after catfish, and this is gonna be a perfect test for these guys because this lake is super low. It's only like a foot and a half deep now across the whole thing, and so if the kayaks can't make it, then it's probably not great for duck hunting. But if the kayaks can make it, which they should, because as long as we don't beach it, we should be good. And this is the biggest body of water we've actually had the kayaks on. We'll be able to go full speed, all the way to the 17 acre lake. We can go around this whole thing. I said there's flying Asian carp, so Banjo might get slapped right in the face by a flying Asian carp, and then we're gonna try to do a little catfish dangle. So we're gonna get everything unloaded from the truck, packed up, into these guys also this truck we are giving this sucker away on uncut every month that you're subscribed to uncut gets you an entry and we're giving away at the end of this year so this truck right here is actually lunkers tv truck it's a tremor it's so sick i drive it every day just you because let, it's you so let me sweet drive it the other day it's amazing i'm like dang i dang. want one of these it's bad bad it's badass it's and we're like i said we're giving it away all you have to do is join uncut which will be linked down in the description down below you guys can check it out and uncut we're posting all of these, especially hunting season stuff, that stuff's gonna be going crazy. Cause we're gonna be doing all the catch clean cooks on there. We exclusive content. We're working on a podcast that's gonna go on uncut. There's a lot of stuff happening on uncut. Plus you get a chance to win. And we give away $2,500 to one member every single month to go buy a pew of their choice. So that's enough of that. Let's get the kayaks in the water. Stay tuned. All right, we're getting the kayaks launched. They're coming down the hill. Banjo and I are getting muddy. We try to get the boat out. Yeah, she's stuck. She, that's a, there, that's structure. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good, keep her going. Oh, all right, stop. That's good for the old intakes. Yeah, they slid right off into the mud. Yep, and you're good. How's that looking? The old jet got some mud in it. Sheesh, the old easy unload did it there, buddy. We gotta make sure the intake doesn't, we're gonna have to wait out till the it gets deep to clean, make sure you wipe that intake too, cause yeah. it's under there sitting in mud. How's that mud doing? 
got this mud. <laughs> yeah, this mud. This mud's okay. nice. Oh. Yeah, it's deep. I'm, this is mud. That's straight mud. Oh, I know. I, this is not good. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think we're gonna have to operate out of the Argo and get the yaks out in the middle because I don't think we're gonna be. Good purchase because I don't think you can put a boat in here. Oh, I no. You, 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 mud, yeah, mud motor or not, you're screwed. Honestly. I mean, this might be our only mode of transportation for this lake until we refill it, but we can't refill it until our millet gets to a certain level of maturity. Once it's high enough, then we fill it and then it'll put a seed head on it and we should be in business. But it doesn't, it's not going to mature for like another month or two, so we're going to have to be dealing. Gonna be the, the, the mud's going to be sucking. All right, let's make sure we can get around this. I think I need a shove. I can give you a shove. Oh, we're making it happen now, boys. I hope she starts. Hopefully the intake isn't filled with mud. You want me to clean you? Uh, I just hit a carp in the head with the oar though. You hit kill it? I don't know. I hit him I hit him hard, dude. Dude, you're in maybe four inches of water right here. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have to paddle till we get deeper. Dead? Yeah, Do you see how big those carp are? Yeah. Holy crap. Dude, they're giant carp in here. That's sick. I mean, that scared me, dude. Keep enough here, though, now. Yeah, no, I was, I mean, I was ripping just fine. We just need to, like, park them right here. Yeah, yeah. So we can, just, we can just launch them. Yeah. No, it was not bad at all. Yeah. Those carp are, like, this big, though. Dang. Like, I mean, they're huge. And it's so shallow. They're just right, yeah. I mean, they're right there. We should be able to catch the fish. I would hope so. Shit, we are on the lake. I'm in my egg. Banjos is dead. I don't know how that happens, but we're charging it. Got the tank out here, but shoddy. Oh, dove. Oh, we also, there was like four. The they, what were they? Do you know? Uh, Woody's, I think. You think? They looked a little they bigger. The one thing I did see, though, I did see the white around one of its yeah, eyes. They have the square tails on them. Too. Like a Woody? Like a Woody. Just some monster yeah. wood ducks. Because I was like, I man. They look big, but I, I know I thought I saw the white around like a female. You know how they have that white because they were brown. But either way, we saw ducks here, which is a good thing, even though we can't kill those at this location for quite some time. But I'm gonna, I think it's actually more realistic if I'm in the water, see how I'm floating. Yeah. Because then if I don't want to be up on the bank, but you can see how shallow it is. I mean, finally, we have a really good use for the tank. And honestly, these, you guys saw me ripping around a little bit. We had giant Asian carp, like 10, 15 pounders that were getting after it. So there's a chance, again, somebody gets slapped right in the, right in the kisser. Uh, but while Banjo's, uh, while Banjo's Yak is getting the old charge going, we're going to practice shooting out of this sucker. We got to, we got because, I mean, this might be one of the only vehicles we can take through for hunting season. Besides this guy, we'll probably be hunting, not from this, but utilizing the tank. And then the kayaks is pretty much how we're going to be hunting this place. I've been seeing quite a few doves, though, which is good, because we always do a dove hunt out of this sucker. Yeah, my dove senses are tingling. I'm getting horned up. I'm so. surprised how stable this thing is. You're just standing in the middle. It's not... It's not amazing, it's not but, it, but it's not bad. Kayak, it's better than normal kayak. So, all right, so we're gonna try to get situated here, hunting simulator, and all right, just making sure. I'm gonna be probably sitting about like this. Oh, there they are. They're coming in. They're coming in. Smoke she gone, boys. Didn't Lakers. rock the boat or nothing. Give her the old high toss. I'm just gonna play on reaction like a teal buzz. Oh yeah. Just be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So finger on the safety. So at any time. Yep, at any time. Damn it! Whip. I suck. All right, I can do it though. I can do it though. I was a little late. Oh, what? Big one coming in, coming in hot big. from the north. Damn it! I suck. You hit this out some grass. I hit there. that grass real nice though. I got, I gotta get it. It's, it's, it's quick. It's quick. It's yeah. hard. But this is what the practice is for. 
is. It is. Oh, the that other one was like landing. I was trying the, to be in the water. The, the other thing I need to do is probably lay down further. Yeah. So I'm yeah. actually laying up. You gotta sit up. Oh yeah. god. You got stuff in there. This is oh this is be. I can shoot laying down now. Look, that was that was this. You laid down. Laid down with the gun sh turned just like this. You missed the kill one. shot. The Wait, there was two. The late yeah. one came by and right over your head. Well, it landed right in the beaks. Yeah. Well, hang on. Don't shoot that guy. <laughs> <laughs> a little high. Oh, water there's, there's a water swat. I had to make sure my water swatting skills are still on par. Is it hard? No. You look pretty comfortable. Say you give a couple reps. It ain't couple. bad. Laying down's tough, but like I said, you're almost, I would almost prefer shooting laying down because by the time you sit up versus like this, if I'm just like this, I'm just like, oh, there's a duck. They're le out. less likely to flare too versus this. Yeah. They're all gonna go. Yeah. So it's like shooting laying down might yeah. might not be awful, but it's it's, it's definitely different. Yep. Rip. That wasn't great. No. Oh. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Pull. Oh! You got it. That wasn't bad. All right, surprise me this time. Yeah. Chris, this was a like sniper. It. Chris Kyle out here. Pull. Oh! The old double tap. The old, the old double tap. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with shot. that. Pull. Rip. That was a hen anyways. Yeah, yeah that was a, a hen. It, it wasn't a green head. He went about it. It's tough. We all definitely needed some practice with it, but it was good practice, and it's totally doable, which is all that matters. Oh, yeah. It'll add a challenge to, to, to everything. So, well, we got the shooting out of the way. Let's get the bang. <laughs>
Name a better thing to do on your birthday. This is a good. This, this is, is a good so time. Fun. This is a good time. I would say we we should post up in catfish here, even yeah. though we're scaring them, obviously. But the wind is blowing from the south. Yeah. You want to go down to the south side, start there, because you're gonna drift. This yeah, way. we'll just we'll just drift it. Drift to the. I island. think we just, I think we just drift to the island. Yeah. So we've got all the gear. We're gonna go get posted up. Hopefully my kayak doesn't explode. I don't know what the problem is with it, but we are fueled up, right? Fully. Yeah. Someone's yeah. out of gas. I say we go down there, drop the lines, and drift. I think we catch catfish here. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. All right, well, let's get to dangling. You guys stay tuned. You think I can turn mine off and it'll turn back on or not? You just paddle around either way. Dude, we're in a foot of water. Are we going to catch anything? What? We're in a foot of water. Are we going to catch anything? Yeah. You think you're going to catch anything here? We're, the fish have got to be somewhere, though, right? Yeah. I mean, the only place that was deeper than this was the first carp hole. So my thought is maybe we do a drift to the island if we don't get anything, uh, and then maybe hit that first place. I'm gonna go chum it and then come back, and then that way if we don't get anything on the first drift, we'll have a chummed up hole, and they should be they should be all horned up for us. Dude, I I don't know, man. These kayaks might be top three things I've ever got. They're, they're so, so comfortable, dude. They're so fun. Andrew's gonna get the dang on. I'm gonna go start chumming. Now we wait. Like yeah, if you were, I say if you were playing out, it probably went too bad. Yeah, no, oh, there goes. Bad. That was my hot dog. <laughs> she gone. Yeah, no nibbles though. Kitty cat, let's go, let's go, banjo. Hot dog? No, that was a that was the old crawler. Old crawler. Banjo, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this. I don't know what kind of cupcake this would make, but probably not a good one. Yeah, no. This one might be a little tough on the old cake, but. Hey, you got it. Sheesh, we got him, boys. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Oh god. Oh, he got me. Oh god, I'm bleeding. Oh my god, I'm dead. I don't really want to grab him again, though. Well, buddy, I got technically got him, but he he clearly. Clearly got me. If you know anything about bullheads or cabbage in general, that's it. That was his stinger, and it done did sting. It stung real good, and it's it's currently yeah. It's mmm 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 yeah. No, it feels like a wasp, like where it just really really hurts and stings and won't go away. Yeah, that's about what's going on right now. Yeah, mine's full of water. This thing freaking sucks. Well, folks, we at least caught one kitty. It, it stabbed me. It still burns. Wow. How's that going? Money. A little soft. Yeah. I love these yaks. They're great. They're so fun. We're, we're just getting prepared for duck season. Like fishing out of these, eh, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's it's fun. Uh, it's not ideal, but it's fun. I think kayak, the, the kayak duck hunting is just gonna be fire out of here. Whether it's this place, we go on the river, we go to a public marsh, go to any type of pond, any type of body of water. I think the duck hunting will be good. So we have we have ordered some. Like, I don't know, like basically a ghillie suit for this sucker. It'd be all camoed up. We've got, you can see we've got the camera mounts back there. We're getting ready. Duxy, we, we, we- Layout blind, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much just a floating layout blind that can go anywhere. You could go sit out in the middle of the water if you wanted, lay down. We were seeing the doves fly around us. I mean, it's, I think the potential's there. These are gonna be cool. I know you guys have been enjoying the jet kayak videos, but I'm telling you, when we get to the hunting videos, it's gonna be 
even crazier. So, although Banjo, you didn't get your catfish cake with your candle for your birthday, I, I apologize for that. We did our we did our best, but since the catfish won on this one, they get they get all the glizzies. They can they can have at that, and all the worms, and all the chicken livers. Do you even use those? I kind of, I threw one on and then I was like, ah, this ain't nothing. Catfish one, us zero. But we had a good day out on the water. I mean, it's it's getting hot right now. That's why we're, we're pulling out. We're like, man, I don't know how much longer we can do this. It's about 112 out here. But it was it was relaxing, floating around. I think lowering the water, I thought concentrated the fish, but obviously not enough. No one got freaking smacked in the face by a carp, unfortunately, but we got darn close. I had a big old dolphin do one of them and guy got scared. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's catfish video. Comment down below any other ideas besides dove and duck hunting out of these guys right here, and we will do it. So drop a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.